Corrupted Chronomancer is heavily reliant on its consumables. The class uses two different types of consumables, Hourglasses and Corruptions. Hourglasses directly alter the class's playstyle and last for two hours or until you die. Corruptions are a secondary buff on top of the Hourglasses. These typically last for around 30 seconds. Think of them as the sand that goes inside the Hourglass. Only one Hourglass and one Corruption can be active at a time, and going over all of them in one video would be too complicated. So therefore, I'm going to be making three separate overviews, with each one covering the class while a different Hourglass is active. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get to it. How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be doing an overview of Corrupted Chronomancer while the Hourglass of Power is active. For this class, I recommend full luck enhancements. For your basic rotation, use 634, 2 4 times, then 5. Just keep in mind that this may vary depending on your active corruption. Power by itself is not too good for soloing, as the defense and dodge buff you get from it are minuscule, but when combined with infinite corruption, its HOT helps to keep the class alive. But even so, it's still going to die after a few hard hits. Power also allows for some incredibly high DPS. Your highest DPS corruption is Entropic, but I can't recommend using it in most situations as it drastically lowers your defense. So while you do have the potential to delete lower health mobs, you're also at a huge risk of getting deleted yourself. For a safer option, use 4C Corruption, though it will result in less overall damage. For farming, Entropic Corruption is a solid option as it buffs your damage and the defense debuff doesn't matter against low damage monsters as well. They don't do a lot of damage in the first place. However, while it can clear rooms at a decent rate, it's not a practical farmer as the class lacks range and AoE. In PvP, the Hourglass of Power does decent with Entropic Corruption if you delay its use, but if you miss a lot, you've got no chance. Support is non-existent, so don't use this class for that purpose. So overall, Hourglass of Power is pretty straightforward as all it does is slightly increases Corrupted Chronomancer's stats and doesn't do too much to alter the base play style of the class. However, even though it's quite simple, it is still a very solid Hourglass that allows the class to dish out a good amount of damage. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time when I go over the Hourglass of Paradise.